Hey guys, uh, just letting you know really quick, uh, before this video starts, the in-game audio didn't record for some reason. Uh, I've since fixed the problem, but I'm, I'm going to go with what I got. Uh, this is Three Kingdoms Massive War. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Curse is here, and this is Three Kingdoms Massive War. Now, growing up as a teenager, I personally loved Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Either if it was on PlayStation or um, or Nintendo, any of that. All the Rolling Set of Three Kingdoms games, I love them. And truthfully today, to this date, I have a Romance of the Three Kingdoms itch that I cannot scratch with any of the current games that exist on the PlayStation or otherwise. And most, in fact, 99.99% of mobile games featuring Romance of the Three Kingdoms have been disappointing at best. I'm going to adjust my camera just a tiny bit. Anyway, so most of them have been pretty disappointing to date. Except this one. This one has successfully been scratching my itch. Uh, this is an AI task force that's been... Kind of working its way towards uh, Tian Shui here. But um, to be honest, this game is pretty good. And they are doing it very well and very right, in my opinion. First of all, one thing I will praise this game for is its pricing model. It's practically, truthfully free to play. I've put 99 cents into the game only because they offered uh, uh, Zhao Yun as a they offered Zhao Yun as a prize for any purchase, so I made a 99 cent purchase. So, anyways, they hand out so much of the in-game currency that you really don't need to buy into it. The only thing they incentivize you to do is to increase your VIP privileges by purchasing top-ups, which is just getting your in-game currency or gold. And if you do that, then you get more, more perks. Uh, you can just do certain kind of draws and certain things multiple times a day. And I believe, uh, well, we're going to move over. We're going to let the task force attack uh, Tian Shui, and then I'm going to jump in. I'm going to let the AI guards kind of soften them up some more. But anyways, the whole idea is you make, you have three troops here, three troops, one, two, and three. Uh, I get my third one at level 36, which is just two levels away. And I have only been playing for six days. Uh, sorry, I didn't really, uh, you know, show you guys this game sooner. Although there's another 400 gold, like I need it. And a whole bunch of uh, other prizes. But anyways. So you make units with heroes there's three kinds of heroes support attack and defensive you need at least one defensive hero to to protect the other two heroes in the group and then you let them uh go at it and then now uh, they're going to move into tian shui and we're going to go ahead and muster on them and i'm going to create a clone of each and then we're going to dispatch on them Anyways, now as you can see, as the, the defense of Tian Shui takes place here, enemy units attack each other, they use ability, heroes will use abilities, and things will uh, be, you know, really cool. <laughs> Sorry, my, my descriptive abilities aren't that great. So, uh, by the way, as I'm moving back and forth in my chair here, do you guys hear anything specific? No, of course you don't, because I got a new office chair. 
This one don't squeak, don't squeaky squawk like uh, the other one did. So, as it seems, looks like we're going to win. Uh, Tian Shui will be successfully defended here. Uh, my Xiao Yun unit got its ass whipped. But I'm going to tell him to come back. And let's go ahead and spectate. Oh, no, she's already done. Okay. So, yeah, this is the last uh, attacking unit out of this uh, way exposition. And as soon as they're dead. Oh, yeah. Eat this. Uh. Goodbye. So, now we have this little path to take here and uh, <laughs> get rid of the uh, the guards that the uh, expedition left behind here. So goodbye. And then once you get to, once you clear all the attackers, there a timer will tick down until you cap the uh, city or, po or point, depending on what it is. You see what I mean in just a moment? Boom. Well, I have it on. Uh... Oh no, it just goes faster normally. But as you see, the timer ticks down, and then after it's ticked down, ticks down, then you occupy the point, and then you can send your guys back to the main main city, and they will re. Uh refill their troops and now what i like about this though for the most part is we're gonna go to Anding here and then we're gonna go all the way around the chang on and take over Ch chang on before it sends out its own expedition uh man, expeditions come from main cities like chang on Anding, luoyang and you gotta get rid of them Otherwise, they kind of just uh, roll through the regular AI guards. Anyways. Are you guys done yet? Come on. Hurry up, boys. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, currently, the... Uh, The game will uh, set up an, an alliance event where the two other major powers uh, will ally against the strongest major power if they are overwhelming on the map. And that has happened. Uh, blue and green have allied against red, which is uh, Wei and Wu has allied against Shu, which is what I'm a part of, which I'm okay with that. So, it's all good. But I should be able to cap this. Because uh, during this event, all guards and cities and points are going to be stronger than normal. So, yeah, these are level 43 uh, guards while... Uh, well, normally they're level 29, which is a lot easier to kill. Oh, yeah, we got this. Don't need any assistance. Chang'an is mine. Unless an expedition suddenly spawns. In which case, then I'll be boned. But, nope. Okay, I took it. And there we go. And then they will automatically refill because Chang'an is the uh, primary city. And then every day you can get performance rewards, which uh, you need these. And I'll get into a little bit more about how you level up uh, your characters and stuff. Ooh, level 35. I am one level away from, uh, from having my third unit. Anyways, and this is a special chest, so I just 
spin the wheel. We'll see if I get anything good. Probably not. Not usually. Ooh, something rare. Ooh, yes, I actually needed that. Yes, that is something I need, truthfully. And then I'm just going to go ahead and, while I look at stuff, I'm going to go ahead and conquer Chang'an East. Okay. Now while that we do that, what I need is... I need to put that item I just got on her. Uh, change. There it is. Yeah, more soldiers, more defense. Yep, come on, put it on. And then we're going to go ahead and enhance it. Boom. Excellent. And then we'll refine it. This will give more stats and special things that unlock with it. We'll refine it twice. This will make Zhu Rong a lot stronger. Even though she's not an orange class uh, hero, she's actually very strong still. And I'm okay with that. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and level up all my people. You can use XP scrolls to artificially level up your people. And... Yes, that's good advice. Don't use a cannon to shoot a sparrow. And then you just level up your people. Rrr. I don't want to meet her kitty. And Jaju. And that's right. I just got Yan Liang, but he's not enhanced or evolved enough for me to take care of. Now Gear, you have to compose it to make it way stronger and refine it to make it a little bit stronger, too. And enhancing it makes it stronger, too. But you can only enhance the gear up to two times your player level. So, like I said, I can put his gears, gears up to 70. But uh, I'm not going to do it to him because I don't have enough gold. I don't have enough gold for all that. We'll do uh, Lu Meng's uh, gear because he's my strongest tank unit. And he's just amazing. Like, super amazing. He's got 30,000 hit points or soldiers. Like, yeah, his soldiers are basically hit points. And he's got really good attack and defense as far as uh, defensive units go. So... Yeah, I don't have the gold to do any of that really at the moment. So you can look, you have the other uh, things to, every day you, you have quests to turn in. You get lots of gold, lots of items. Really, honestly, their pro player progression is fantastic, to be honest. Even after you hit a slight pay cap, like where I'm at right now, which it's it's slight, it's not big is what I'm saying, you know? So it's not that big of a deal. And then look at it. By the way, look at it. These two guys, the green and blue are allied against red, and they're still... Red is still going across the map and tearing them up. And by the way, and if that is the case, uh, the Alliance event extends one day. If, uh, <laughs> if the major power still remains a major power, the Alliance event will extend one day. Look at it, more gold. Uh, by the way, uh, just so you know, like how much gold I like, I'm saying that they've handed out. I have spent uh, from all the free gold they hand out about about seventeen thousand, and that's not even putting money. So seventeen thousand, that's. That's like $200. Like, I haven't put a... I put 99 cents, which was 70, right here. I've put that into this game. That is it. And But they've given me like 
in free gold. Not because I'm a streamer or a YouTuber or anything like that. That is just seriously how much they hand out for quests, daily quests, world quests. So long as you're active in this game, you will just be drowning in this shit, to be honest. And what you do with the gold, by the way, your first, like, uh, 5,600 or so should go straight into the House of Talents and do a draw 10 so that you can get uh, your orange generals, your legendary generals. And then after that, you want to kind of save it and then just start using it in the... Uh, the altars here specifically for relic sacrifices because you want the uh, XP relics and you're just gonna go ahead and just use these get the uh, you can only do that twice a day and you want the gear sacrifices too ooh yes purple gear I need purple gear I need blue gear still oh yeah I need that excellent super luck oh 16 pieces of purple gear. That's really good. And purple gear for helmet. I think I need 30 pieces to upgrade uh, purple gear. Let me check. Now, Lumang is going to be the recipient of the first purple gear. Uh, yeah, I need five more. Five more of the purple uh, armor to level him up. To level his up. And then he'll have more stat, more defense, more soldiers, more HP. And he'll just be all around better. And then you also want to uh, refine your armors. Which uh, gives them more stats. Which I can't uh, do that because his are currently at the maximum for what levels they are. In fact... Yeah, no, okay. So yeah, we're good there. But seriously, though, you'd be drowning in the good stuff. For Yan Liang, though, he needs... Yep. I need to compose the blue armor for him. What about blue sword? Do I have a blue sword? No, I don't. Well, a green helmet. Nope. Green belt? Nope. I need those things. Anyways, though, and what else you do with the uh, gold? You go to the Altar of Heaven, and you want to get these Relic Refines, because you want these Relic Refine uh, Elixirs. Can I get any more? Nope. Okay. And you want Gear Refine stuff. Nope, nope, nope. You want these, too. Can I get another one? Nope, okay. And then you want to use the mystery shop too. The mystery shop will have shards for the heroes. And it will also have refined stones and evolve orders for either anima or gold. Anima you get just from questing, doing quests, running around, doing stuff. That kind of good stuff. Anyway. Trying to avoid, avoid the cursing. <laughs> And on your, and this is kind of just a, boot, a pseudo base builder here. This is really not anything important. Like you want to just keep upgrading the buildings as fast as you can. The training grounds give you XP scrolls to level up your generals with. The farmland, which cannot be upgraded, just produces food over time. Food is used to replenish your heroes as troops when they're out in the field makes sense the more food you have the more that is used more that is consumed to restore them but uh the less you have the less is consumed then they kind of put it on a on a what you call a uh <sighs> Uh, whatever a, a declining gains kind of thing what's up with this gear what, what, uh, oh you want me to refine this no we're not refining that but anyways that is the basics of the game and you level up your home city 
that's it. What else is there? Uh, oh, the Revival P Pavilion. Basically, if you don't like what you've done to a hero, you can just pick uh, pick one you, that you did stuff to. And you will get back everything that you've put into them for 50 gold. Which is a fair deal. So overall, fantastic game. I am enjoying it, and I will probably keep playing this. But there's just not there's not a ton of content to really talk about. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, we have oh okay. I think it's uh, a player I can I can take on. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that, uh, that Sima Yi is really strong. Simi, ah, all right, well, he's going to have to retreat, though, which is fine. My, uh, I forgot that my troops were not fully ready, but that's fine. I got wrecked. It happens. It happens a lot in this game because it depends, like, whether or not you, your troops are really good. Depends on rarity, refines, levels, stats. Just a ton of stats, basically. So, but that's uh, Three Kingdoms Massive War in a uh, in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this. In fact, I really would recommend that you guys check this game out for yourselves. As it's pretty damn fun. So, uh, if you want to see more of this in the future, let me know. Because uh, also, what I've seen... Is that they've really condensed the China, the map of China, uh, a lot from other Three Kingdoms games. Not really so much to a detriment, but just to kind of fit it, I guess, to fit it all. So because yeah, the like I never thought Nan Man and Chengdu were like, you know, not on all the, any of the Romance of Three Kingdoms. The Nan Man and Chengdu were never this close, but uh, but yeah. And in fact, there was another major city in between. Uh, but they, there's a few things cut out. And, and all the historical generals are not there currently. Like, you can't get Liu Bei, Cao Cao, um, who else? Liu Bu, I think. Let me double check that. Who have I not recruited? Uh... Way on. Yeah, no, Lu Bu's not there. There's still a lot of historical generals that are not there. So I'm hoping that the developer is working on that, getting getting newer, uh, just newer, uh, newer content in. So. Anyways, though, I'm just going to move my guys back because I don't care. And anyway, so let me know what you guys think. And I will totally see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that subscription button. And I'll see everybody in the next video.